right y'all what is up what is up welcome to my channel Tanaya and Ahmad if you're new to this channel I'm Tanaya as you may know and I'm so sorry y'all this video has been so postponed and late just because I gotta watch what I say and uh, yeah so there's probably gonna be a few parts to this uh, series well I don't know if I'm gonna call it a series but I'm gonna split this video up simply because it's gonna be very long and for the sake sorry I have hair stuff in my hair it's not dry yet all right it's this hair product don't trip <laughs> but yeah um it's about Hampton and I'm no longer at Hampton so this is what this is all about I transferred to Ivy Tech at the moment and I changed my major to visual communications because I want to become a cinematographer and visual effects creator. So that is that. But when I was at Hampton, I was majoring in pharmacy. So, and that's still, I mean, I don't know. I'll get into it later on or whatever, but I'm more so passionate about the arts and photography and all that more so than chemistry. I didn't enjoy it. I just, I don't see myself having fun in that career if that makes sense but yeah so i wrote on my notebook just to keep everything uh in order and something was going on with my sd card so i gotta fix that or just buy another one i'm probably just gonna buy another one and fix the other one i don't know but this is like probably sits recording because uh the last video i had it had too much information and that's another thing why this took so long because i don't know what's legal and what's not legal to say and i don't want to get in trouble for defaming the university even though i'm telling my experience so that's another thing i want to be clear about so yeah all right things to know about hampton university before you go there because this is not something anybody has told me because this is something that might uh well some things that might have changed my opinion before i went there and even all the researching that i did do i still nobody tells you until your actual student there if that makes sense so i don't want you guys paying for the name forty five thousand dollars and not receiving the education that you deserve and yeah but yeah i still had a lot of fun meeting people not necessarily at the university but meeting people that all the students that went there because the students are awesome you get a handful of good teachers well staff members not teachers <laughs> shout out to miss james miss tracy small johnson mr fernell miss mr druid who else mr walkins miss gentry miss patrick johnson mr brown at the warehouse and the ga at kelsey shout out to all y'all all right first of all hampton university has a curfew hampton university has a curfew and this is probably because it's a private college but i don't i don't know i don't know but on weekdays, Sunday to Thursday, you have a curfew to be back at your dorm by 11 o'clock p.m. One o'clock on Friday and Saturdays, that's that. Next, we have a shuttle there, but it's like a mini bus. So it's probably only gonna fit about 20 students, maybe. It's literally a mini bus. So then it only goes to Walmart, Target, Peninsula, and Walgreens. And the peninsula basically is like a strip mall, I guess. I don't know if you ever been to like an outlet or whatever, this something like that. Like you got the movie theater, Five Guys, like some restaurants to eat at, uh, and kind of like a mall, but it's not a mall. It's literally just stores. You have Bath and Body Works, so it's not really a mall, but it's something close to it. Also, freshmen and sophomores cannot have a car, but you can kind of maneuver past that if you're a sophomore, if you have a job on campus, they said. And they, I guess it was because of parking, but I don't know. I don't think so, but I didn't make the rules, so I don't know. Another thing to mention about the shuttle, it's $4 round trip. Most universities, it's free, not at Hampton. And $4 isn't bad, but usually it's supposed to be free for the students, especially if you don't have a car. So it's $2 get on the shuttle and it meets in front of the cafeteria over by the journalism building. 
and so basically Walmart, Target, so on, so on. And then it's $2 to get back on the shuttle and go back to the campus. So if you don't got that $2 to get off and back to the university, you better call it Uber or Lyft. And depending on what day it is, that can cost up to about $45 if it's a weekend and late. And probably $8, depending on how far you are from there. So that's another thing to keep in mind for parties, and we'll get to that as well. But like a lot of parties are off campus, so you have to take a lift or carpool with a friend if you have any that are upperclassmen. You have to do that if you wanna go somewhere. And also they give you bigs, but after about the first two weeks after NSO week, you ain't finna talk to them for real. You're not gonna talk to them. They just, <laughs> they skedaddle after that. But some of them, I guess some people they talk to their, but from my personal experience, I did not talk to my big after new student week. Before classes start, we didn't talk for real. So that was that. And yeah, all right. We're gonna skip restroom because I wanna save that for the dorms video. But I will put all the pictures in there as well. <laughs> I might be wearing a different outfit, but I don't know, we'll see. I'll give you a little preview in the end of the video. Anyways, laundry is $2 to wash and it's 50 cents to dry. So, and you don't, I thought it was like where you have to have the, your change, you know, like back in the day, you had change, you put in the thing. No, so I had a whole bunch of change for no reason. Uh, they changed the vending machine, so it's also with your pirate card. So, I mean, you can do like dollars and stuff. I guess it just depends on where, which vending machine you go to that you can put the quarters in, because I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> See, yeah, so you have to put the money on your pirate card. I think it's on Blackboard. I'm pretty sure, you know what? I'll put the picture on there as soon as I find it, but you go to the little website and it pops up a uh, guest or student or something like that. And you just transfer money from, I guess your regular card or maybe your bank. I don't really know. I only did it like once because I was really in need to go grocery shopping and I needed that money to get to Target to buy my groceries. So and without that, I would have been hungry because the cafeteria closes at nine and I will be getting to that right now. The cafeteria, it's a hit or miss, like all the YouTubers say that went to Hampton. It's definitely a hit or miss. It's either really nasty or it's decent. And maybe on a good day, it's okay, like good. It's like I said, decent. It's not always gonna be cracking like I thought it was. It's only like really good on like events, like high school day, alumni day. What else? Anything like that, like where they're gonna have people visiting the school is when the food is gonna be okay or pretty pretty better than usual, if that makes sense. So, the, and the way to find that out is they'll have music playing in the cafeteria. <laughs> so that's also another thing because other times they do not have the music on and they only do it for, I guess, special, special times and special events from what I experienced in the semester. It opens at seven in the morning and closes at nine, but on the weekends, it closes at seven. Yeah, it opens at uh, like nine or 10 o'clock and closes at 7 p.m. So with that being said, some days I'd be too busy studying or something and you know, you can forget to eat sometimes. So most of the time I was either doing uh, what, DoorDash, delivery from like Papa John's or something or I was doing Grabhub and I would order off of like whatever they had, I guess, whatever had delivery or whatever. So you do that or I go to Planet Smoothie, which is in, in the student center. So I go get a smoothie over there. Miss Sharon also makes the best smoothies, y'all. Just keep that in mind if you do decide to go. And they also have Chick-fil-A and Pirate Girl in there. Pirate Girl has the best seasoning on their fries, y'all. It's so good, it's so good. And then they have Subway, Wing Zone, and uh, Jamaican Place, or, some, or Caribbean Place. And they have Tropical Smoothie as well, but more people decide to go to the Planet Smoothie, I guess, just because it's closer. And yeah, so that's that. Oh, 
Also, if you order food and you're on curfew, if your food comes after 11 p.m., you will not get your food, even if you paid for it. So, be aware of that because you will waste your money and you cannot go out past the gate to go get your food because you cannot leave the dorm. So, and they don't let the delivery person in and that's happened before. So, be aware of that. Oh, if you want to work on campus, I don't know if they let the freshmen, but I'm pretty sure they do. Um, you would go either talk to them, like whoever, whatever job you want to go to and work on campus. You'll talk to them, or you can go visit HU Dining at GourmetServices.com, I guess. And I put the little picture up here. So everything I'm talking about, I'll insert all the screenshots that I had because, honey, I got the receipts about everything. <laughs> So, all right, let's talk about parties. Yay. Even though I only went to like, I wanna say two or three. Just cause I was in the books, y'all. I was trying to study and mm, get to that in the next video as well. So, all right, parties. The first hauling is a Hampton tradition. So everybody's gonna be there, more than likely. And you got people that might be a little crossfaded. You might have some people that are sober, drunk. Yeah, anyways, that's that. And I think it was a dollar or two dollars cash to get in. I don't know, I don't know why, but yeah. And it was pretty fun. It was fun, but definitely be aware of your surroundings because the vibe I was getting is a lot of dudes watch. They, and that's anywhere you go to. I'm not just limited that to Hampton, but definitely watch your surroundings and don't go over your limits, let me put it that way because yeah, they were, it was like a creepish, a creep vibe, like they watching you and they they slick. Some people are slick and that's, like I said, that's for anywhere. It's not just limited to Hampton, but be aware. Now, they have another party um, that's kind of traditional and that's the atrium party and they have quite a few of those and that is taking place in the student center at the bottom of the floor, that's the first level. So, and those are okay, but it's a, it's really crowded. So it's like body to body and eh, it's, yeah. <laughs> All right, holidays. So this is something to also be aware about that I don't think I fully thought it through. Now holidays, you have to go. You can't be on campus. You don't have to go home, but you gotta get the off of the campus y'all because nobody's on campus now i think they had something for like thanksgiving or something if you had to stay but this was when i moved to my second dorm that'd be in the next video as well y'all i moved four times in one semester and had four different roommates and that might just be the title of the next thing so be on the lookout for that but anyways you have to leave the campus because uh there's no way because everybody's leaving so i don't know why that is but if you live in california and you don't have any family on the east coast near you i don't know what i don't know luckily i had one cousin that lives over there so i stayed at my cousin's house which is y'all have seen me go to when i had the hurricane video that was last posted um Hurricane, Hurricane Florence. So yeah, I stayed with my cousin and I was just blessed to have that opportunity just to have somebody over there because I don't know where I would go because I don't know anybody else. So yeah. All right, mail. So certain mail goes to your dorm and certain mail, majority of the mail goes to the warehouse. Don't know why that is, but it's a stroke. But Fashion Nova does get delivered to your dorm. It does get delivered to your dorm. There's a message I might put up right there, you know. Anyways, and UP, USPS goes to Stone Building, which is right by the Wigwam Building and the flags and all that good stuff. Yeah, so you get some of your mail at Stone Building, but majority of your mail in the warehouse which is all the way in the back of the campus, <laughs> right by Moton and James Hall, all the way in the back. And they don't have like the delivery trucks, so you have to carry all your mail back to your dorm. Me, I ordered a refrigerator. The fourth time I moved, I ordered a new refrigerator because we were using my first roommate's refrigerator and 
she needed hers back because she moved to a different dorm. Y'all, like I said, y'all see that in the next video. But yeah, so I didn't have a refrigerator, so I ordered one. I don't know how soon I got it, but it was pretty quick. And so I had to go all the way to the warehouse. A stroke, like my dorm's probably all the way right here, and then this is all the way, all the way over there. Yeah, so I had to go over there, and they didn't have a delivery truck or anything and I wasn't that close with my RA like I was but I was new to the dorm and everything but usually if that happens you go to your RA um, or GA your director whatever I don't know if they have a car they can take you to the thing and get your mail with you and then back to the dorm and you have to have your student ID all the time so they know what mail to get and who you are obviously without it you cannot get your mail so you got to walk all the way back and when i got my, my refrigerator they had like a i want to say a trolley like where you put the thingy on and <laughs> you know move it back yeah back and forth for heavy stuff or whatever so the dude that helped me and there was only two people in there so he wasn't able to help me he had to help the other students that day but he told the dude to get the trolley or whatever and basically wheel all the way back to my dorm with me and keep in mind we don't have elevators and bc has one elevator and they won't let you use it if you're a student don't know why but they don't but they do have one this one and it only goes to the first floor it doesn't go anywhere else but the first floor and there's like four different levels so yeah so basically it's all stairs because it is hbcu it's historic everything's historic <laughs> so yeah um he had to carry it up two flights of stairs and through the i think it's like a glass area or whatever you had to go through there and get all the way into my room and then back down the stairs so that was a stroke and I'm thankful that he helped me because uh, I wasn't about to carry that heavy refrigerator that's half my size. No, no ma'am. I forgot to mention y'all. If you want a refrigerator, you have to have a doctor's note. Yeah, and I'll make sure I take a picture of mine and put it on here as well. But yeah, you have to have a doctor's note or you won't be having a refrigerator. You can't have a microwave, you can't have a rice cooker, you can't have a hot plate, you can't have all that. Apparently because they have one already, but they don't. <laughs> they don't. And Kelsey, they have, their kitchen's like a little hallway. Literally, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's not very big at all. It's literally maybe 10 people can fit, maybe. And it's just one big old refrigerator, this uh, older refrigerator. A really old historic stove that it doesn't beep or anything to tell you if you know what I mean. It's done, you have to keep checking on it or you might burn your food. <laughs> and then they have uh, the sink and stuff. And uh, I remember when I was at Kelsey before I moved, we had a meeting, a mandatory meeting. Every meeting they have, either if it's with the dorm or just with the campus at all. It's always mandatory. But yeah, that's that. I done got off track. But yeah, your mail's all the way far. Just keep that in mind. All right, tutors. Yay. I was struggling with pre-cal, which is really pre-algebra if you're trying to transfer. So that's something to keep in mind as well. I'll lose that. But anyways, uh, yeah, tutors. They're supposedly available. <sighs> I want to say they're in the library on like the fifth floor or something but I, nobody really told me that until like last minute then I found out and went to them but yeah tutors aren't available until October and you start class in August so with that being said basically you try your best not to fail for the first two months and then when October comes around, hopefully you have a good tutor that's not all the way booked. Or always booked because they're good, of course. They're great. But you won't get to meet them because they're booked. So, that's that. <sighs> Ooh wee. So yeah, make sure, it, I mean, you could stay after with some of the teachers, but a lot of times they don't really want to. It just depends on who it is, y'all. I promise you. And I don't know what all I can say, and I don't want to mention names just because, like, lawsuit and stuff. I don't know if I want to get into that, but, y'all, I got all the receipts. I got it. So, yeah. 
Uh, most teachers cannot teach, and this is this is that. That's, that's every. That's everywhere though. Let's. See. <laughs> but Hampton, y'all, mm -mm. definitely, definitely, definitely go to RateMyProfessor.com and read up on some of your teachers. They may have some reviews on there, but specifically Math 117 Pre-Cal. Look that up because it is very accurate on that teacher. <laughs> the female, that's all I'm gonna say. And then uh, bio 105, definitely look on that. RateMyProfessor.com. Oh yeah, the science department do not show you how they want the lab report, most of them. Mainly in chemistry, that from my experience, they don't ever teach you. You get like this paper, this brief paper about I guess how to write it but it's so generalized and brief like it's not very specific and I basically had to fail my first lab report to see how my teacher wanted it somewhat but I never got a hundred percent not one time on the lab report and same goes for all the class except for one student but that was also inaccurate because he forgot to write the other people's names their group members that the teacher didn't tell us to write it until like I said you failed the first one figure it out you had to write your group members names and the dude that got 100 didn't do that so technically you should have got a 90 or something but hey it's none of my business but yeah um like i said i already mentioned pre-cal is really pre-algebra and you need to be aware of that because uh if you want credits for pre-cal like you're supposed to be taking and you want to transfer be aware of that because it's not really pre-cal like they say it is. I have written down on here, if you lose your dorm key, which this should go along with dorms, I guess, but we're already on it now. But if you lose your dorm key, I think it was like $75 or something along there to replace it. That's one dorm, I'm pretty sure, or all of them. I'm not really sure, I only lived in two, so. And the other one, uh, VC, they said if they have to, they charge you every time they have to open your door after a certain amount of times, I think after three, two or three times, they get tired of it. So they start charging you a dollar every time they have to open your door. So have a dollar on deck, y'all. All right, now we're on dorms. You have curfew checks. And if you fail, you get early curfew, which is at 6 o'clock p.m. And even if you're one minute late after curfew, you still get 6 o'clock p.m. curfew. So, that's something to be aware about. Um, on certain, well, in mine they had a dorm curfew check, or not curfew check, what am I saying? Dorm check, like to see if your room's clean, and I put all that right there as well. And they see if your room's clean, trash is taken out, Leave your door, I think they said leave the door open so they can just walk in like your parent. And, <laughs> bro. Mm. Anyways, yeah, they had it Tuesday, 6 to 11, depending on where you was at and all that crap or whatever. If you failed, they will have to recheck it the next day. You have 24 hours to clean your room and before they come back and check. I'm sorry, I actually left out some information. You do have to put your emergency contact and stuff for the dorm. But um, yeah, to go anywhere, you have to make sure you sign a sign out sheet. So if you want to go anywhere off campus, you have to go where your parents authorize it's okay for you to go. So if it's nowhere on the campus, your parents don't have it written down as a location that you're allowed to go to, you cannot go and they would not let you. So one time I went to my cousin's and I signed, I think I, what is it? I signed that their location or whatever, or I told them, I don't know. But I let them know and I left my cousins and they called my parents. Soon, soon as they called my mom, she asked me, she's like, where are you at? So they would call your parents and see if you're, it's a location you're allowed to go to. So be aware of that as well, y'all. You have to have your parents' permission to leave campus. That was what, in September? I'm pretty sure it was after, but yeah. You need permission to leave. There was something else I was gonna say and I cannot think of it for the life of me. Cheer tryouts. They, <laughs> I don't know why I just got too hyped for that. Anyways, I was going, that was one of my main reasons to go to Hampton. The cheer and pharmacy. That's the only two reasons why I was going. And they never had tryouts. They only had tryouts on April, like April 13th, and you can go to their website 
or on their Instagram page. That's where I follow up on it. And it's H-U Blue Thunder. I'm pretty sure. H-U Blue Thunder. It's H-U something. H-U Blue Thunder. But yeah, um, if you go on there, their last tryouts was in April. Like, bro. And I wanted to try out because I love their team. Y'all, they be killing it. Them, Bowie, and uh, Marilyn. And WSSU. Y'all, power to the people. Like, I love it. But yeah, they never had cheer trials up until like last month. And when I spoke to the coach, she said that they were not doing video submissions, but now she's allowing video submissions. So I'm like, all right. And this wasn't meant to be for me to go there, apparently. I don't know. I don't know, but I definitely enjoyed it. It was a learning experience and I'm glad I went. Like, I met so many great people, y'all. The students are awesome, but the school wasn't for me. Mm -mm. And like some of the issues they were nonchalant about, but some little issues they made a big deal about. So it just wasn't working. Um, printing is located on the fifth floor in the library. Um, library I don't know if I'm saying that right but yeah it's 50 cents for color and black and white is five cents <laughs> uh, to, oh here it is also to add money to your ID card you had to get on blackboard transaction e accounts and that's how you put the money on that I was mentioning before and uh, with the shuttle and to get on and everything you go to blackboard transaction e accounts and then you transfer your money onto there so you got what is it? Other than Scripps Howard, the journalism building, which is so beautiful, y'all. Other than that building, every other building needs work. The biology building needs hella work. And you'll see the elevator right over here. You got this. Look at all that underneath. It's, ugh. You got that, and then it just, it just don't smell right. And then you have the math, the science and technology. What is it? Turner building or whatever. Anyways, where I had my pre-cal class, it was the science and technology building. And that one's pretty decent. It's not bad, but the classrooms need work. And you will see that my teacher is still teaching, even with the ceiling and everything missing and the moldy smell in the room. It was literally hard to breathe while she was still teaching in that class. So... <sighs> Be alert. Like I said, ratemyprofessor.com. Please look at it. Also, um, the chemistry building needs work. There's like one or two elevators in there. And same in the biology building, there's one elevator in there. Other than that, it's steep, steep, steep stairs. That's what I'm trying to say. Steep stairs and one elevator that I just put the pictures in of. So, so keep in mind um yeah i'll try to do my best with uploading life has just been busy y'all but the transfer because i filled out for a different university in october i was just through i was ready to go so <sighs> i would do better y'all i'm gonna try to do better but at this point my life is just busy i do photography on the side so i'm taking pictures and everything so i'm, I'm trying i'm trying to balance work with me i'm so sorry i'm so sorry also y'all hampton seems really really lit around springtime i will admit that y'all it is lit so definitely have, you have a lot of fun in the spring they do a lot of events and i think they have like a barbecue and all that like it's lit lit but like winter time and stuff is eh. mm. <laughs> But you will have so much fun in the spring. So, and I do have uh, more like helpful information. If you all want to still, I don't know, reach out or whatever, I do have more information. It's just some stuff I can't post on YouTube and some I can. And also helpful advice. Like, I don't, I don't mind. Just hit me up and yeah. Then my, my social media will be in the link uh, below in the description. But I love you guys. Thank you for staying loyal and still with me and my boyfriend, even though he doesn't even post that much. But um, we will be having separate pages, but we'll still have this page. Basically, we'll have three pages. We'll have his, which is probably going to be about sports, most likely. And mine, I don't know yet. 
it's gonna have some on there and then this one for the both of us which is probably gonna be used for like vlogs and maybe advice i don't know i don't know we'll see but i love you guys if anything comes up you will see it in the next video thank you hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you turn on that bell so you get all our new videos thank you for watching bugs <laughs> they got roaches y'all not bro roaches everywhere i'm talking roach here 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 roach